because I because I my observations would would make me believe that education is the critical factor in in helping yeah. Cambodia become a a country that gives everyone opportunity and um, and part of that is educating people to, to think for themselves and that's the only way you're going to change a country that's very dictatorial um, in, in the way it's structured. Um, but to the prerequisite for education, um, as, as you would know as a teacher, is that the, the kids have to get to school. And, and, and to get to school, you, you have to have some food in the stomach and you've got to be healthy and um, we've tackled the, um, the health aspect and, uh, and, and that's to overcome the, the problem of constant, constant stomach upsets because of unsanitary toileting and, um, and not drinking clean water. And so by moving into a village and saying let's now make sure everyone has clean water and they have sanitary toilets then at least you've got a chance of breaking the cycle and, and that gives you also the opportunity of reinforcing how important washing your hands are before you eat after the toilet and just general hygiene and so we by having this project going we're actually providing a, a mechanism for having them think about these issues and the anecdotal evidence would, would suggest that the kids aren't getting sick and if a kid gets sick in Cambodia, it costs the family dearly to take them to a hospital um, because it totally interrupts um, their lifestyle, which is basically survival from one day to the next. So ed education, I think, is the answer. It's become a real focus to say, let's get, let's get the families with clean water and sanitary toilets and, um, and enable the kids to go to school. And it's it really as simple as that. We've got an extra issue in, in Cambodia because um, only 10% of girls are getting through high school. And in trying to find out why that is, um, I, it's, it's twofold. Um, one of them is the lack of um, facilities at the schools. And um, it's tragic that you hear stories where the girls just stop, get up in the morning and won't drink a drop of water because they don't have to go to the toilet during the day because the school facilities are, are pretty poor. Um, and then the, the, the education and culture somehow or other doesn't recognise that, that girls have uh, an issue every four weeks and um, they need proper conditions at school to, to, to look after some of that. Um, the, the, other, um, the other factor with girls in particular is that um, they are seen as someone that can make the family some money with a, a dowry and um, and also um, if just one mouth they don't have to feed so it's pretty tragic when girls get married at 16 and it's still happening um, so that's the need for schools but then you get into the education system itself and you find the government doesn't value it because I think the, the classic sign of valuing education is recognising the worth of teachers and paying them appropriately. And teachers are, ex are paid pittance and it hardly um, reinforces their, their status as a key part of what needs to change. So we're helping, Be Yoga's helping. Um, this, this whole group I'm with down here is in Euroa is helping because um, they're providing some of the funding to help us in these villages um, put in toilets and put in clean water facilities and, and ultimately that's helping kids go to school, get a better education, learn to think for themselves and break this cycle that is going to be better for Cambodia. Thank you Daryl.